Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, one of my uh, retro gaming magazines. Uh, this one is uh, Total. Um, it's a Nintendo magazine. Uh, I used to... Uh, this is probably one of my favourite magazines um, from the 90s. Um, yeah, this is August 1992, issue number 8. And it costs a grand total of £2.50. Uh, absolutely love the cover artwork on this one. So no surprise what uh, what is going to be reviewed inside. It's a riot. Street Fighter 2, the biggest and best beat-em-up ever in capitals. Uh, don't miss a monster four-page SNES review inside. Uh, that if I, went, if I saw that when I was a kid, I'd be getting this magazine. Um... Yeah, great stuff. Anything else on the cover? Uh, Pro Protector. I uh, didn't have that on the Game Boy. I had uh, Pro Protector on the Super Nintendo, I believe. No, tell a lie. I borrowed it on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I've got a copy of it now. And um, this is another great game. Uh, Super Smash TV. Sorry, I'm trying to read and get in focus. Uh, spent many, many hours on that game, but we'll get to it. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, this, this advert takes me back. Dr. Frankenstein on the Game Boy. Uh, game Boy is probably one of the, um, the consoles I played the most growing up, if I'm honest. I remember this advert was plastered everywhere um, in the early 90s. I don't think I ever actually... I might have played it, actually. I think I went away somewhere and someone lent it to me for, like... 15 minutes. I uh, can't really remember playing it, but looking at this, it does look vaguely familiar. Okay, moving on. Let's have a look at the content. Uh, so you've got some stuff for the Game Boy. Uh, the this, uh, this Super Scope. I always remember they always made it look bigger. If you ever saw one in, the, in real life, they weren't that big. But uh, I think they always used to use clever camera uh, techniques or very small people I can see the size of this uh, I'm assuming that's a woman um, her hands are massive but the the unit uh, the actual device uh, the scope looks uh, really big um, so I think it's uh, can be a bit misleading but it's obviously it's aimed at uh, children uh, games were back in the 90s I suppose more so it wasn't the industry it is it is now you know uh, so have a look. Anything else catches our eye? Coming soon from the USA. Uh, absolute entertainment. No, nothing much there. Total talk. Oh, never saw, never ever seen one of these. The Nintendo Mouse. Mad about the mouse. A new Game Genie. Oh, that's what it is. The Game Genie. Yeah, clever piece of kit that was. Uh, what we got? That's another thing. Oh, what would I be in? Nineteen ninety-two. So I would have been eleven years old. Eleven-year-old me would have thought that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, again, never seen one. I uh, never knew anyone to have one. I don't think so. Games, a uh, star game gamers, famous Nintendo gamers. Number four, Daddy Mac, and Mac Daddy crisscross. Oh, they were the kids who used to. <laughs> wear the jeans backwards. Um, never done it myself. The charts. Let's have a look what was in the charts in 1992 then. Number one, Terminator 2 on the Game Boy. Super Mario Land. Amazing game. Oh, I like it's got the scores that it originally had as well. Bar Bart Simpson, Super Kickoff, WWF Superstars. Number six, Bugs Bunny, Crazy Castle. God, that was number six in the charts. And I had 43%. And WWF is number five, at 49%. Wow. Uh, number seven, tennis. Eight, Super RC Pro Am. 87%. Number nine, uh, Bubble Bobble. And coming in at number 10, DuckTales. That's very mixture, mixed uh, scores in there, isn't there? From 94%. Uh, what we got? In the few games in the 40s, you know? But I think a lot of the games back then, it was the parents buying the games. So um, either the kids didn't know. It wasn't as easy to get uh, reviews. 
um, easy as it is today to get reviews back then. So some parents might say, for example, um, oh, my kid was watching Bugs Bunny the other day. Oh, they're going to love the Bugs Bunny game. And you take it home and it had 43%. Uh, the Nintendo Top 10, coming in at number one, Super Mario Bros. 3, 98%. Blinking heck. Uh, Rescue Rangers, Donkey Kong Classics, number three, at 50%. Uh, number four, Terminator 2. Number five, World Cup. There must have been uh, a tournament on or something when this magazine came out. Uh, Raiga, number six. Super Mario 2, 79%. Uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Not reviewed, but it's number eight. Turtles 2. Uh, number nine. And Star Wars coming in at number 10. Okay, I don't know why they haven't got a uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a game advert. God, look at that. So, advert for game, there's, oh yeah, 13 stores in the country. There's a few more of them. Uh, now, they're even popping up in uh, Sports Direct stores now, aren't they? God, they've done well for themselves. It's, uh, small beginnings. Wow. Go for gold with game. What else have we got? Letters. I'm going to skim past these, I think. No, I'm going to skim past that. I'm going to go into them. Oh, here's the, um, the Game Genie. I wonder if it's got a price on here. I think the price of this... Oh, first of all, if you don't know what it is, it's like, um, you, as you can see, you, you plug your cartridge into it. Um, and then that goes into the console itself and it's um, it's like cheat codes and stuff like that so for example infinite lives you can jump higher punch harder run faster etc etc so um, like a cheats code or ultimate cheat or 930 game cracking codes uh, but I never asked for one because I think they were around about the same price as a game so when you're younger, rather than just having one of these, you had the choice. You can either have one of these for Christmas or for your, for your birthday, uh, or a new game. So, young me, a new game was far, far more appealing um, than, you know, because I've finished most of the games I had anyway. Um, I don't think, I think one person when I was growing up, I heard, heard had one, uh, I believe. I can't remember who, mind, but um, yeah, that's the Game Genie. Right, here we go. What we got? Here we go. Super Nintendo. Get physical with Street Fighter 2. Anything else stand out there? Prince of Persia. It's a game that we don't... Die. Funny enough, I was talking to my friend Chris about this the other day. He said, um, you don't see the games anymore. They did really well on the, the PlayStation 3 uh, consoles and the Xbox. I think they were on the Xbox 360. I think I played it on the PS3. Very good. Very, very good games, you know. It's a shame. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, Pro Protector. Uh, what else have we got? Anything stand out? I don't think I had any. Oh, there's... Uh, we'll look forward to that one. Uh, page 44. Is this Super Smash TV? Oh, Godzilla. On the... Is that the Game Boy or Nintendo... Looks like it's the Game Boy. Oh, NES. Sorry, my bad. I can't read. Uh, Godzilla. Uh, yeah, I think that was a terrible game, I think. It looks good, though. Uh, but we'll find out. What have we got here? Little Nemo, the Dream Master. Don't remember that. 77%. Oh, Bart Simpson in the 90s was absolutely... Ma oh, The Simpsons, rather, was absolutely massive. So there was... Uh, a load of games were dumped on the uh, Nintendo consoles, 67%. Uh, if it wasn't a Bart Simpson game, no doubt it would probably have an uh, even lower score. I think it sold really well, though. I know a few people had it. It wasn't for me. Oh, you don't see adverts, I guess, any day uh, anymore, do you? Turn your Super Nintendo into a super sexy, lean, mean street machine. Ah, oh, Contra 3. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts stand out there. 
No, I'm not looking at the ladies. I'm looking at the games, if anyone's wondering. No, I'm looking at the ladies. I'm not going to lie. Right, let's move on. Uh, totally rad. 54%. I think some of the comments, these reviewers, are really funny. Some of the comments. I, I think this, this magazine might have a funny one. I can't remember. I remember if it was uh, something in here anyway. God, look at that. 22%. So... Imagine that, you get one game a year, as some of my mates uh, had. I imagine you ask for crack out, 22%. I'm sorry. Wow, wow, wow. High speed, 47%. Very specific, uh, oh, specific scores, aren't they? Makes me laugh. Lolo 2, okay, 65%. Let's have a look, what else we've got? Right, I don't want to be too long. Oh, Godzilla. Godzilla. Monster of Monsters. Okay, so this is for the NES. And it's £35. <laughs> and it had 10%. Blinking. It looks good, though. If you ask me, if I pick that game up in... Uh, even now, if I pick this game up, obviously in the box, turned it over and had... And these are the screenshots on the back. I say that's pretty good graphics for the Nintendo. I would be very tempted. I pay thirty-five pound for that, but at ten percent. Oh, here we go. Let's read this comment. Uh, from the screenshots, you might think this is a bit special. I agree with that. Whereas in fact, these screenshots contain just as much action as the game itself. It's crap. <laughs> oh, fair play. That was a good review. There we are. Uh, thrill, thrillers, well, what can I say? Not a lot, actually. In fact, nothing at all. This game has got no good points whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Oh, I bet loads of parents bought, uh, or loads of kids probably asked for uh, Godzilla. I grew up with the, I was a Sega kid back in the day. Um, but I would have been very, um, I would have convinced my brother, put it that way, because we had to agree what we were asking for for Christmas. Uh, unless I had it for my birthday. Imagine my older brother. He would have said, you know, it obviously is a crap game. But uh, based on what that guy just said. Um, yeah, my brother wouldn't be too pleased with me. Uh, to say the least. Uh, just an advert for something. Win, win, win. Oh, here we go. So, I don't... It says here... Grey import, so I'm assuming they're reviewing the Japanese, um, Japanese version. So for the SNES from Capcom, price around seventy five pound. Gee whiz! No wonder hardly anyone had it when I was younger. I was telling a uh, friend in work, uh, Mister Bond, he is a subscriber. Don't you worry about me. I was telling him, funny enough, today, that um, this guy I grew up with, uh, he had a lot of games. Um, he wasn't the most fun person to hang around with, I'm not going to lie. But I was, this is primary school now. And um, he said, oh, do you want to come over to my house tomorrow to play? I said, no, thank you. He'd always ask me. And then one day he said, do you want to come over to my house to play? So I said again, no, thank you. And he said, um, I've got Street Fighter. And I was like, oh, pardon? He said, yeah, I got Street Fighter. I said, really? Yeah, I got Street Fighter. So I thought, oh, great. Really excited. Asked my mother, and can I go over this person's house to tomorrow? Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. So excited all day then talking about Street Fighter. And I was like, oh, the green guy, Blanca. And he was saying, like, he looked a bit confused. And I thought, um, I don't know, maybe he hadn't played it much or something like that. So go to his house. He goes, yeah, let's play some Street Fighter. It was fucking pit fight there. I, honestly, I think I was sick in my mouth. I was absolutely gutted. And it was too far for me to just walk home. So I had to stay with this kid, right? And play fucking pit fight there. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, bless him. I don't think he was... He wasn't lying. I think he got confused or something. Maybe he didn't realise. He must have heard me and my friends talking about Street Fighter and how amazing it looks. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've got... Pit Fighter, thinking it was Street um, Street Fighter. But yeah, that just made me laugh. Uh, 
in work today. Memories. I, got, I can remember some things crystal clear, but normally my memories, like I say, if I tell you. Anyway, let's get back to uh, Street Fighter 2, shall we? The real deal. So, oh yeah, they said it was a four-page review, didn't they? I was looking for the score. I guarantee this did well. Uh, so relax, you've got to run down to some of the characters, or four of them. Oh, they've got all the characters. M. Bison, Balrog. Yeah, look at this. Tell us his early days, because they got M. Bison, um, and they're calling him Vega. And then obviously, Balrog is um, M. Bison. For those of you who didn't know the, the names that they are now, they weren't always the same names. I think in tournaments they call um because in Japan they stuck with these names, so he is Vega in Japan. But in tournaments I believe they call him um the dictator. I remember watching a couple of tournaments and the the commentators just kept referring to the to him as the dictator, and I was like, What are they on about? But um I might be wrong, but that's my belief is why they call him uh, the dictator. Anyway, oh, 94%. Let's have a look. It's getting a bit dark, I do apologise. I haven't paid my electric bill. <laughs> you joking? It's uh, yeah, it's alright. Gameplay lifespan, really. Difficulty levels, yeah. Well, well, I'm still playing it to this day. So uh, I give out a ten out of ten for lifespan myself. Oh, another Simpsons game, Krusty's. I'll skim through these a bit quicker. Uh, eighty percent. I uh, never played it. Pro Action Replay. Oh, I've got this. Bought this on eBay about six months ago. Uh, Action Replay copy of Street Fighter 2. Happy days. That's an awesome poster. These posters were everywhere back in the day. I remember seeing like a cardboard cutout of uh, Robocop when Robocop 2 was in the video shop. Like a video shop was a massive business uh, in the 90s. Um, yeah, and I wasn't allowed because it was, I think it was in 18. And you and me, here's me, like, 11, 12. My dad was like, I don't think so, pal. Anyway, Battle Blaze. Oh, yeah, so Grey Import must be. It's uh, not out yet. I quite like the look of that, actually. Anyway, let's move on. The Addams Family. Uh, both the Addams Family movies did really well. So, obviously, they're going to spin off, uh, or have spin-off games. 70%. Nah, it doesn't look that good, if I'm honest. Some old adverts. Oh, Super Smash TV. I don't know why they don't make more games like this. Um, I think the PlayStation 4 and 5 controller pad would be perfect. You know, like, um, this was great on the Super Nintendo. You know, with the one uh, directional uh, stick. So, like, a twin stick shooter like this. Yeah, so I had 93%. Uh, yeah, I... I hours and hours into that game. Very hard game, mind. But it was just so much fun, you know? Oh, the Super Scope 6. Was that going to focus? Maybe not. I'll have to read. Can you? I don't know if you can see that. 43%. Um, no, I've never really got into all that stuff. Pro Protector had uh, on the Game Boy. Uh I am tempted to get collect for the Game Boy again, but it was it was hard, man. Like that's that's crystal clear. That's as clear as you're gonna get ever get the Game Boy. It was hard, but if we've never played a Game Boy, uh, we had it tough back then. You know, with uh, Fifty Shades of Green, yeah, it was uh, made the games uh, might not have been that hard the gameplay, but it was hard because you couldn't see what the fuck you were doing half the time. No backlight to anything like that uh, game as these days are spoiled rotten. Prince of Persia for the game by 83%. You know, this is the old school Prince of Persia. They've that uh, that game has come a long way. What are these now? Are these are walkthroughs rather than reviews? No oh, Bubble Ghost, 22%. Star Saver, not heard of these. Oh, Metroid 2. Got 66%. I thought this was a good game, Metroid 2 for the game by. Again, some games might age um, better than others, you know, 66%. Football, oh my God, Burger Time Deluxe. I think that's had a re-release on the 
um, Nintendo Switch, I think. I think I saw someone doing a, a pickups and that was in there. I might be wrong, mind. Uh, never played it. Looks alright though. Uh, I think it's only Nintendo uh, exclusive. Super Mario World. I remember seeing screenshots of this game, thinking, that's it. Games are not going to get any better. I thought that was real, you know? <laughs> you know, nine, ten year old uh, little Tony in the uh, in the magazine shop back in the day or the news agents back in the day. I thought, uh, I think the graphics have aged very well anyway. But back then, it just blew my mind. Didn't even have a Super Nintendo. And I was drooling over the, the screenshots, you know? Star Wars, oh, it's like tactics part of it. We'll just uh, quickly breeze through this. Action replay codes, are you are. So you can put these codes in and get um, infinite lives, full power ups, and things like that on some of the games. Uh, Total Recall. And now we'll uh, read us. Okay. Some adverts. There's always a lot of adverts. Um, just getting through. Nearly done, guys. Oh, subscriptions. Right. This magazine here, issue three. I I wouldn't say I can remember it like yesterday. That'd be a bit of an exaggeration. But that I remember my uh, I remember picking that up. It was my father. I think how much is this magazine? Two pound fifty. That was the first Nintendo magazine I bought because I had a Sega. Um, there was something about that magazine I just loved. I'd watched Terminator One. I was in the cinema with my dad. We watched um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and the trailer for this came came on uh, before the movie started. And I just looked at my father as if I was. I must have been drooling, and he said, "No chance." So I had to wait years and years till I was old enough, pretty much. I was probably about 14 by the time, 13, 14 by the time I actually got around to watching it. But I was just obsessed. Anything else watch, nigger. Um, so I begged him to buy me this magazine. I think we, it was around about Christmas time. Um, and he said, how much is it? And he was just wanted to get out of the shop. I said, it's £2.50. And he was like, how much? As if I was asking for like £100 or something. You know, um, we weren't poor. We were far from poor growing up, do you know what I mean? Uh, but that magazine, I'm looking for that magazine. There's a couple on eBay, but they're in terrible condition, like literally falling apart. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get, I want that magazine. It's got so much nostalgia um, to it. I know the, the, the game didn't even review that well in there, um, but there's just something about that uh, that volume that I need. I need it back in my collection, you know? Anyway, that's enough for... Uh, Reminiscing, we're taking a trip down Tony's memory lane. Super Nintendo, one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Dear me, and the TVs, and another advert for the Adams family. Well, thanks again. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. I've been told I need to say that. Uh, I'm really happy. I've got ten subscribers. So my latest subscribers, thanks to Chris and Chris. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, so thank you. Love you. Bye.